Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's create background layer. Go to here, right mouse, new solid layer, add the name background, click OK. Go to FX presets, search effect fill. And select this fill, let's use background layer. Let's go to color cube and let's use color blue like this click ok and lock layer then let's create new null object and hold ctrl double click on behind icon for move to anchor point center click section 2 and go to enable title action save let's move to center and let's move to up Okay, so in this time, go to first second and press P, make new person keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard or click here, write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframe, click OK and let's move to down. Okay, go to 10 keyframe again, select first keyframe, let's control C for copy. So select these keyframes and let's make easy or click F9. Let's go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. So let's select this shape frame and move to right and this shape frame move to left. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. So back to shape frames and let's hold alt click this time icon. Go to play button, property and loop duration. For done expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Nice. So, select these shape frames, let's hold ALT, move to right for one second, go to graph editor again, and I want to make like this graph, let's see, okay, nice. So, back to shape frames, and right now, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon, let's use ellipse tool, and let's go to here. Okay, and let's hold shift, make one ellipse, and let's go to stroke, change 10, go to fill, let's select none for close inside color, click OK. Okay, let's change quality full. Okay, so let's change stroke 20, click session 2, and change shape layer name 1. Let's move to like this and let's link to null object let's see okay nice so in this time let's go to shape layers hold this icon and let's create rectangle tool let's zoom to here and hold shift make one rectangle click session 2 and press s change scale okay and change shape layer name 2 and link to null object let's see Okay, fine. So, right now select this layer 1 and go to stroke color. Let's use color purple. Click OK and select this layer 2. Go to stroke color. Let's use color red. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go to pen tool and hold shift, make one line and here and here and here. Okay, let's see, move to right a little bit, click session 2 and change layer name 3 and move to here, let's change scale a little bit and link to null object. So, in this time, let's go to first second and let's see animation. Okay, and in this time, select the layer 1, go to edit and split layer or control shift D, delete. Select layer 2, move to right. Let's see. Okay, go to here. And in this time, again, go to edit, split layer, delete, select layer 3. Move to right here. And go to here. Okay, again. Let's go to edit, split layer, delete. And let's press N for select work area. Let's see. Okay, that's good. 
So for loop animation, let's select the layer 1, Ctrl D, move up, and move right, let's see. Okay, nice. Okay, nice loop animation. So we can add some scale animation. Select this null object. And let's first select this layer 3. Okay, and let's hold control, double click, pan behind the icon for move the anchor point center. Or let's move to here. And this. Okay, and this. Okay, so click station 2. And let's go to first second select this null press s click this icon and right now make sketch a frame and go to here change scale like this and right now make sketch a frame go to some chain frames change scale like this and this change 100 let's see okay and go to here change 100 Okay, very nice. Select chain frames, make easy. And go to here. Again, let's select chain frames, control C. And here, make new scale chain frame, control V. Nice. And here, again, control V, new chain frames. Okay, let's move right a little bit. Or move to left. Okay, nice. Okay, so in this time, let's go to pen tool and go to here. And let's hold shift, make one line, click station tool, and change color yellow. Clusation tool, open inside, contents, shape one, and open stroke, change bad cup to round cup. Four smooth finish lines. Okay, and let's select shape layer, go to add, let's use trim pads, and open here trim pads one, go to first second, and change start like this 100, and make start shape frame. Go to here, change zero. Let's see. Okay, right now go to here, make end J frame, and go to last J frames here, change end zero. Select all J frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's move to left this J frames for fast speed animation. I want more fast. Hold Alt, move to left nice and in this time let's go to here let's go to edit split layer delete close settings okay and let's control d press r change rotation like this let's change minus 180 let's move right okay so let's move to here and select these layers. Let's see timing. Let's move to here. Okay, and select this shape layer 2. Press P and move to right. Let's see. Nice. So, select these two shape layers. Let's right mouse and precoms. Add name, lines. Click OK. So let's see timing. Okay, let's move to here. Nice. And let's move to center like this. Move to behind. Okay, let's control D, move to here. Move right. Nice. Again, control D, move to here. 
Okay, so open lines and let's select these two shape layers, change stroke width 10 and change color white. Nice, very good. So, finally let's select this null object and go to here, press U for CJ frames and let's hold shift press R, open rotation, make rotate J frame, go to here, let's move right this J frame and go to here, change rotation. Let's change like this, 90. Okay, and right now let's make rotate keyframe. Go to here, change like this, or let's change like this, and select the sketch keyframes. Let's move to here and select sketch keyframes. Make easy and move to left. Let's see. Nice, not bad. And select these rotation keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make graph like this. Okay, let's move to left this rotation. And let's make new rotation keyframe, go to here, chain rotation zero. And right now, change again rotation and move to here or move to left. Okay, that's good. So let's select this last keyframe, delete. Okay, very nice. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.